10 of chalices. So this can be, this will most likely be a fantastic week for you. You are emotionally content. This is a high. Usually this is an emotional high for me where it feels like everything is going well. If there's anything in particular that you've wanted, you have it this week or you've experienced it. And again, you're just satisfied. Very satisfied this week. So you come in though with the Four of Swords, meaning to start the week can be a bit slow moving or this is you again just feeling relaxed. You might be coming back from vacation. This might be vacation week for you with the Four of Swords. Some of you could be recovering from something as well. And in terms of any form of recovery, just looking at the cards, you just, you overcome any difficulties that may have happened, all right? Following the Four of Swords, we have the Two of Wands. So some of you may have taken this break in order to contemplate a plan, a decision of yours, and you have figured out a solution. You know what you want to do. You're clearly choosing a direction, looking ahead, and now it's about movement forward and making things actually happen. Some of you have already put plans into action or are waiting for the results. And again, there's um, this vibe of just looking beyond, looking into the bigger picture and the future. And I get a very hopeful vibe, very, very hopeful. Here you are, here you are with the sun. So adding to the 10 of cups is the card of happiness. Now, sometimes this can illuminate things that have been in the dark. Uh, that might be the case. If that is the case, regardless of what's being illuminated, anything that's being revealed, you are enthusiastic and happy about it all of it is in your favor so definite definite vibes of um positivity here and i think in this case with the two of wands in the sun you're choosing to do something that you know will make you happy or it could be or it could be a choice that is being made whether it has to or it's been planned for a long time it leads to the sun so again you're just really satisfied with how things have turned out finally all right so let's get some additional cards we have you here with recovery of the four of swords or at least at rest why though not that there's anything wrong with that queen of pentacles this is all about feeling comfortable and secure with your finances with yourself with your environment so I think that's what this is about. This is more about peacefulness that you have with yourself and the sense of security. I feel like maybe previous weeks you have been stressing out and that for this week at least is no longer the case. You just, you're just at ease and comfortable. There's definite sense of comfort here with the Queen of Pentacles. This may very well be your energy. Now this could represent someone else in your life that you've either taken a break from or again you've repaired a relationship if there is a separation that has happened, it's, very, it's definitely temporary. And whatever the case may be, moving forward, you're happy with the outcome. So I wouldn't worry about it. For the most part, I think this is your energy and the sense of feeling at peace and comfort with yourself, with your situation overall, and with, with the way things are turning out for you. Two of Wands, you're making a choice. What are we choosing? We're choosing to end a situation or leave something, uh, say goodbye, something. And there's no real sadness here, again, because the sun follows. I think you know something has come to an end. So it's best to separate yourself from that situation. This could be a job, relationship, friendship, anything, again, that I feel that you feel has been holding you back in some way or not really benefiting you. It's, it's something that you want to say goodbye to. Some of you might be choosing to, you know, do or take part in something that would be a dramatic change, whether it's doing something for yourself, for your appearance, or moving, or something that would maybe uproot your life in a way. It could be a very dramatic change because death is also the ending from one situation to another. So. That change is something that you're excited about and you're looking forward to what comes afterwards, which appears to be the Sun and the Ten of Cups. Right. This is for Death and the Sun. Those are the two cards I was thinking about while I was trying to find a card. And we have the Ace of Swords. So you're gaining knowledge, truth. You're having that moment where you feel clear. 
you have a clear sense of direction. You know what's up. You know what you want. You are a very strong communicator this week as well. You have fantastic ideas. And I think your brain is running with a lot of thoughts. And there's just this sense of having a lot of desires, a lot of things you want to do, and being very active as well. A lot of that activity might be mental with Ace of Swords, but I just feel like this would be a very strong, victorious week for you in general. Ten of Chalices. All right, we got a Buddy the Five of Swords. So we got one little card that we don't want here. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to take this one too. All right. So we got three cards now. We have the Five of Swords, and I think this is a vibe of... Let me just take a look at this again. All right, on some level, you might have feel that you've gotten away with something, but I don't really see it as a negative because I think the Ten of Chalices and the Sun and the Ace of Swords are so overpowering that I refuse to see any negatives for you this week. This could be a fear you know, in the background that, oh, okay, you're experiencing the high of Ten of Swords now. Are you going to lose it? Um, how do you keep it? There could be worries going on. There may be some deception lingering in the background or you're afraid of some deception. And I get that fear. So this isn't necessarily an actuality where you're being deceived or something's going on behind your back. I think you might be concerned about it because you're so used to it. You're like, this is too good to be true. How can this be? You know, what's going to happen? It's going to be taken away from me. I've got to be cautious. I've got to be careful and really hang on to the Ten of Cups because I don't want it to go away. That's the vibe I get with this combination. This is more of an internal fear of yours of it being taken away, of it feeling like, oh, this can't be real, which is the deception part of the Five of Swords, I believe. And then we got the Six of Wands as the third card for that trio. And what is the Six of Wands but victory? And here's the sun. And I feel like despite the fact that you have some background worries because of your experiences, you're going to start to see the light. You're going to start to see that, oh, maybe things are headed in a positive direction finally. And there is something to be happy about. And I think you're going to go with the flow and move forward and just enjoy the moment. That's not to say that, again, that here and there you're gonna like worry but for the most part i think you're gonna enjoy some strong victorious energy and uh feeling successful feeling content with the direction that your life is currently headed so those are the cards that are coming up for this week i love them uh, with these cards i would say whenever that energy comes into your mind just tie yourself you know enjoy the moment how often does the Ten of Cups or that feeling of bliss comes in and stays there? Just enjoy it while it's there. So here we have in the middle, we have the King of Swords. He can represent yourself as the Swords or represent someone that you're dealing with. In terms of that person that you're dealing with, they might be a very detached personality. Uh, not necessarily hard to communicate with, but hard to get to know on a deeper level and they could just be like the aloof and whatnot. Not my favorite king, to be honest. And I would say that in terms of personality, they're definitely leaning towards the cold energy because the Eight of Swords is next to them. And the Eight of Swords, again, that's you feeling trapped or stuck in a situation or anxious about this person. And you're anxious about what this person has to say. Now, they could have sent you a very long email, very long text message, or they, again, this is documentation of any kind, and it's lengthy. And whatever is in this message, whatever this information holds, again, you're, it's bringing up these feelings of anxiety for whatever reason. And as I said, this could just represent you as well. Again, you're just receiving some sort of information here that you're not sure how to respond in return. Maybe you expected different results. This could, of course, be work-related, whether it's a job offer or opportunity and you're anxious about taking it or you're not sure if you should. There's questions surrounding what this night is bringing. Having said all that, you're still feeling quite hopeful about your situation. You have the star, so this is promising energy for the week. You're not losing faith, and you think that things will work out in your favor. 
but I need more information. So <laughs> let's get. All right. So the knight is sharing something with us. It's more, most likely some form of, again, contact. What is it about? What is this contact about? All right, it could definitely have to do with work or from someone tied to work. Someone that this person is associated with money as well. So this could definitely be some sort of documentation that ties into finances in some way and you've been waiting for it. This could be someone offering that job opportunity as well because again, this is these are both pentacles. Oh, why I can never get these right. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I'm just going to do it anyway because I don't care. No. You are quite stressed or you have been stressed. It is sort of diminishing because it did come out reversed. Um, but you're not sure what to make out of the situation. This again, as some sort of document results that you've been waiting for, or even again, that job offer. You're not sure how to respond. There's something that is tying to anxiety here for you. There's a lot of questions on your mind as well. You might feel like you need to talk to someone to alleviate your concerns. All right, we have the King of Swords in the middle here and the King of Swords has the page or knave of chalices in this deck. And this could be someone who is reaching out to you and this is an emotional connection. They're sending some sort of uh, love message here. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. You could also be reaching out to them. Uh, this person could have a child. Maybe in this situation, there is a younger person involved as well. What else? More pentacles are coming up. So I do feel like for the most part, this is tying in with the money here. Like this could involve custody, for instance, because this person usually hang on, they hold on to their assets. And uh, this could just be about assets in general. This person wants to hold on to them. They're reaching out and talking to you about the situation. And they're maintaining, again, this detached point of view. Eight of Swords. Could definitely be discussions about how are we splitting up assets. And this person wants to protect themselves, what they have. Eight of Swords, you have the Fool. And I think for most of you, you don't want to be played the Fool. You're stressed out about coming out uh, worse than you went in when it comes to this situation. Some of you do want to start over, but you are nervous and anxious about it. You're afraid of it. You don't know how you're going to do it, how you're going to manage it. And yes, this is definitely about movement forward. Some of you involves travel or moving to a new house or place of your own. And I say of your own because it's the fool here and they're pretty much taking a journey, a brand new journey by themselves, minus the dog that's going with them. There is another person on that boat, but I'm seeing this as solitary. So I feel like you and another person, uh, this is about separation of assets. There's also this um, story here about waiting for results to come in and being stressed about that situation. The star leaves us, leaves us hopeful though, which is nice. What can you tell me about the star? I think you're hoping that, or you're having faith that soon enough, all the burdens, these burdens that you might be feeling, most of which are mental burdens with the Nine of Swords, uh, that that will go away soon and you'll feel a sense of alleviation and freedom here. And then you'll be able to have emotional satisfaction again. You want to drop these burdens. That is your wish. And you're tired of juggling a situation. 
this could also be tired of sharing with another person that that back and forth as well i feel like this is a balancing between you and another person together this communication this back and forth communication between most likely you and the king of swords it could also be the king of pentacles obviously because this one creeped up here and you are the king of swords yourself but that back and forth you're looking forward to it being over you're looking forward to this uh juggling of assets and figuring out a separation of assets you're looking forward to that being over as well um it's taken quite some time and you have had to exercise patience but you're over that you're you don't want to wait anymore you're hoping that soon enough you can just uh, see the results and basically again alleviate yourself of a situation what is the knight of pentacles going to tell you well, it looks like whatever news is coming in, this information or documentation is good. It's in your favor. You're most likely just stressed out waiting for it. Mm, too many cards. All right, let me get one more for the Eight of Swords. And I want to get this creeper here. You got another king, so either there's multiple people involved or this is aspects of another person's personality. I mean, you have the grounded earth energy, a, tithe, a person that's tied to work potentially. And this person who you may be tied to emotionally, it can be a water sign. He, in this deck in particular, he always seems like the big drinker <laughs> to me. Uh, doesn't have to be, he could just be someone who's very much in control of their emotions. Some of you might be moving on from one person to another. And in order to do so, though, you have to break away from yet another person. And again, that might involve the separation of assets 